I'm here today with my friend Aurelian Soul. He peaked Masters rank 102 in Legends of Runeterra. And he's been kind enough to coach me today again in an iron game. We're going to be learning a new deck today. It's the uh, Zombies deck. Um, so with that, uh, say hi Aurelian Soul. Hi, very happy to be here. And with that, we will get started. So this is the deck that we'll be using. A Soul's gonna walk us through it and give us a deck tag. So hello. So before we hop onto the games, uh, we're gonna do a deck tag of explaining how the deck works real quick, so you guys understand what's going on. So this is an Undying deck. This is what's the Undying? The Undying is a three mana two two that can block, which is very underwhelming, but it has the amazing ability. Last press, revive me the next round start and grant me plus one plus one for each time I've died. So whenever this bad boy dies, he just comes back the next round stronger. This deck will abuse this mechanic at its fullest potential to really come out with the maximum value from this card and uh, have a an, and has an actual good matchup against most uh, meta decks right now so for example we have for example of these highest energy we have signal combat which is two mana an ally and an enemy strike each other you're gonna basically make your undying fight another enemy unit make them both die in the process so uh you will for two mana get rid of an enemy unit and make your undying even stronger this is a, uh, there's also a very str another str very strong synergy with Chronicler of Ruin. Chronicler of Ruin is 4 mana 3 3. When you play it, it says kill an ally, then revive it. So if you target in dying, there's a cheeky trick because it will die, then get revived as a Chronicler, but then by its own passive, it will get revived because it died. So here, you end up with 2 and dying with the Chronicle of Ruin. It's, it basically duplicates the Undying. And it can, if you get multiple on the board, you can really flood the board with the Undying and just keep coming at your opponent. If they if they block, they it comes back anyway. So there's very strong synergies. There are a lot more very good synergies in this deck, but there are just too much. So I'm just gonna not ramble over them too much and talk about how we deal aggro matchups. So against aggro matchup, aggressive ones, we have Balfeast, which is 2 mana, drain 1 for an unit to summon a Spidaling. Very good to kill off uh, weak units to create charm blockers with a little 1 1 spider. And also gain life. Because, so it is a very good card against aggro. We also have a 2 of a Wizarding Well. Wizarding Well is 2 mana, 5 mana, deal 1 to all enemies and heal the Nexus 3. Again, life gain, and you deal with swarmy aggressive decks. And, all f and finally, we have a 2 of. Radiant Guardian, which is a five, ma a five mana, five five that says, when I'm summoned, run me a life steal and tough if an ally die this round. Obviously, with the Undying deck, we keep making the Undying die, so it's very easy to achieve this this uh, this this uh, requirements. You get the five five life steal, which will heal you every time it attacks. So it's a very good way to shut down aggro decks because uh, once you get back at 20 health against an aggro deck, you basically won. And for, for the late game, we have bombs such as Tyana Krongard. Uh, this is very good if the enemy is in a weak spot. He he just uh, blocked uh, with using it to save his life from the uh, onslaught of the Undying. And you just play her for 8 mana, get the 7-7 seven, seven tough on the board, and just attack again. Because it says when I'm summoned, Raleigh, which means for someone who doesn't really know how the game works, it's it's if you, uh, you, you gain an attack token, so we'll be able to attack once more in the round, so it's, it can be absolutely dev devastating for the enemy. It had won, it had closed so many games for me uh, before. We have also uh, two of, of the Ruination, which is 9 mana, kill all units. And as you probably understood, this is very good because we don't care about our Undying dying, undying, dying. We actually want him to die. So I'll just close away for Undying attack and just kill our opponents <laughs> like this. And finally, we have a one-off of Atrocity, which is a little trump card uh, to finish off games. It's six mana, kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. So let's say, if, imagine if we're against a very strong control or a control deck that is like a thing at two health, 
uh, and he's about to kill us with his combo. We can use his very cheeky 6 mana play to kill our Undying to deal damage equal to his power to anything, anything equals Nexus. So we'll be able to finish off like a 3, 4, 5 health Nexus and close out the game like this. And yes, that's basically the deck for you. It's a very strong deck. That is actually my second most played deck. Most played deck. Uh, during the ladder, I really enjoy it, and even though it's not in the top tier meta, if you're familiar familiar with the Runeterra meta, it's definitely um, a very strong deck for the actual Masters uh, ladder. So yeah, let's hop on the games. Bye. Right. We're here today in Iron 3, let's get this bread. Yeah, let's get this going. So what I'm gonna do, Andrew, is I'm just uh, J4. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, so what I'm gonna do here, J4, is just I'm just going. I'm just guide you if you miss out some very strong. Or if you have a question, well, I'm mostly let you like play throughout the whole game so you get a feel of the deck. All right, so I think. Uh... Do I trade out anything or just leave it? I think you trade out only the black spear. And yeah, okay. That's good. And that's the thing that you wanted, but it's still very good. So here, see the edge of the mirror, Andrew? You're gonna have this mostly always kill your your undying because the maximum value. Because it's very strong as undying. Much. So what do you do here? You have a very large choice of cards. Pass. No, you play your cross keeper. Can't block any. Oh wait. I think but it's you better if you just tell me what to do. I don't think I'm there. Nah, I really want you to understand how the game works. Yeah, but I don't. Okay. What do you think you play here? Um... It's obvious. It's obvious. Hold on, the undying. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The undying. That's what you play. Usually with the deck, you want to get the undying like as early as possible to have it to to make it start dying and getting bigger and bigger. And then I attack, right? I attack when it's yeah, my turn. At, yeah, when it's your turn. Your initial. Yeah, your turn. There's something that you're not very familiar with is the initiative system, but uh, it's like the fact how. How, uh, how do I say it? Uh, how you... First one's free. All right. What do you do here? Attack with everything. Because you don't care about your units dying. He will block because he got um, zero power in it. There you go. Pass. And now, Andrew, can you tell me which spell you're going to use? Prevent some damage onto from your enemy. Signal combat, yes. It was the only spell you had anyway, so but <laughs> I, I still at least I knew which one was a spell that time. I play uh, yeah. Uh, right, this is tricky. You know, there's something else you can do. You can also place the Chronicle of Ruin onto the don't onto don't don't do it, don't do that. But onto the other one. The one one. Because if you do this, you will basically get a blockers. I think this is the best thing to do. Because here he has a lot of board, you will create two strong bodies with this to block. So, yeah. Like this deck is very, it has a lot of skill that comes up into knowing uh, which center combos you have to go when. What do you do now? How do you block? You can't block with dying. Yeah, no, I can't no. block with the green club. Yeah. What do you block? Uh, it's worth it's fine, fine, it's fine. This is fine? Or no, this is fine. Change it? Uh, I mean, since you're against an aggro deck, maybe you want to block the other ones like 3 2. But. It's not the, the, the other 3 2. But it really comes down to. I think you can block the 3 2 because you're gonna get. Uh, 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 you have already have. Uh, all, um, four units on the board, so. So. 
All right, he recalls him so he doesn't die. This is a very uh, not bad play, but he loses tempo, uh, which is like uh, how do I say this? Like aggressivity. He like basically this is bad for him because he ha he will have to play his head back. What do you do here? It's very obvious again. This. Yes. Onto what? Um. Yes, you're dying. To die. No, 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 Andrew. It's okay. It's still very strong. It's still very strong. It was better for Z and dying. It's because you have gotten. It's a skate of abomination now. It's yeah. That's... This is very strong. Like, uh, like if you do it on Z and dying, you go for the game. If you see what I mean? Oh, this. One. Yeah, but if you go for this, you go for like burst, burst combo, like, uh, like immediate value. Attack? What do you do here? With everything. Attack yeah. and everything in single combat? Wait, I can't. No, you mind. don't have mana for single combat. Attack with everything, Andrew. I'm gonna laugh if he blocks the 2 2 and dying. Do it. Nothing but a footnote. No. <laughs> oh, it's also. Here. It's, it's, it's still completely fine play. It might actually. Correct play to do Andrew because uh, here you're basically gonna create four forward for the Z because the Z can very pull is very hard for the Z to trade verbally into the four forward because it's four health. That's how I thought we were, but mm -hmm. oh, you're actually smarter than me. Uh, <laughs> what do you do here? Um, you obviously want to play this, yeah, it's uh, kind of obvious, but on what? I don't know, it's obvious. They're on dying. Yeah, of course, it's the only thing I can do. Sacrifice. <laughs> this is a value. Yeah. This creates Taranza. <laughs> what do you do here? You block, but with what? Wait, it's only got two health. So I can block. But yeah, because five attack, it got five attack though. So whatever you block with is going to die. Yeah, so this? Yeah, exactly. There you go. So little. And next turn you win. You can just pass, you don't need to single combat now. Alright, next turn you win. I'm not gonna tell you anything, you have to figure out how you win next. It's pretty simple though. It's only on Z54 you can change it. It's fiber, yeah. There you go. Don't need two single combats. You won't do anything. Alright. <laughs> he draws three cards, but he's dead. <laughs> You won here. There's nothing for two mana that saves him. You can do any mode if you want. Like GG, the Shen one, or if you wanna show off, you can do the Heimer one. Because uh, I'm smart. <laughs> he will kill you 5 4, no. Or it's okay. You won. There you go. First win. Nice. Good job. You're, since this is an iron, you're gonna get a lot of easy ones. Another one. <laughs> We're gonna get you to iron two, at least. <laughs> uh, also, something you, I think you want to do is to play by your own. Yeah, I will. I mean, how much? I don't know how much I'm enjoying <laughs> the game. We'll find out as I get to know it a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. right. You kept playing with me. I hope you will. Yeah. This game can be very frustrating if you don't understand what's going on. So, I really hope. A Tito right. deck! You have to win to win this. Alright, uh... so... Ideally, you want Valfis to kill Timo. But you have a very strong... You have a quite strong... Like, you can play Curse Keeper on turn 2. And on turn 3, kill it with Glimpse of the Out. To generate your 4-4. Four four and draw the cards. It's the only thing that seems a little bit... Harsh is Black Spear, but 
Like, maybe you replace back spear. Cool. Because... Oh, yeah, this is much better. You know how stutter is speed rocks? What did you say? Alright. Turn one Teemo can really do a much about it. Do you know how third spirits work? No. Like the Shumana? So it has support. Red mass, support of light, plus two plus zero, and ephemeral. Support means the the attacker that attack right next to him, like on his right. Curse keeper, support. right? Uh yeah, you might want to. Alright, so let's attack. And then we need to draw into Valfeast. Because this little devil will level up. So if you don't have Valfeast. Alright, we need him to play something. Okay, this was a very bad play. Uh, you it won't do much because if you kill your to draw two, you will draw two, but he will already have gotten his damage. So you don't, no, there's no point in playing him. Level up. Ooh, so basically, his level up means uh, next time he hurts your enemy nexus, you dead. Uh, so you want to draw cards to find answers. So actually, you want to you actually want to play this. Yeah. You actually want to find answers. <laughs> there was a different play that you could have done is um third spirits. But it's fine. So this is trouble. Uh yeah, it is. It's trouble. Uh here you want to find the you want to apply as much pressure as possible because he's he, you play Star Spirit, yeah. Because you want... This is here, he will never block with his Teemo. So you might as well use this to get some more damage. Termogenic Wing could be a thing. I think he could play Termogenic Wing or Mystic Shots. Which you will discover very soon, if he plays them. Mystic Shot, yeah. It's all 2 to anything. This is a very common card in control decks, like my, on my Hibernico deck, I play this card as Shriaf, very strong. Especially for Teemo. Uh, this is bad. And here you get, can, can get 4 damage. Just get your 4 damage in. Because he's a Teemo deck, so it's very likely he has... Um, a 4 mana drop, like there's a 4 mana drop that is very played on Teemo decks. It's a Chump Womp, called Chump Womp. It's when I'm someone create 2 Mushroom Clouds, which is basically 2 Mushrooms for Teemo, so... I wasn't expecting that, but that's still something that could have blocked you, so it was a good play. What do you do here? You can just play in dying. Uh, because if you play the Vanguard Redeemer, 3 mana one, look at it, uh, it only works if you, if an ally died this round, so, ah, alright, this is, Timo's such a little, ah, meanie, alright, Andrew, this is where you find answers, Glimps Beyond, quick, oh. Glimps Beyond, what do Glimps Beyond, the 4 4 2 exactly, because he comes back, this is free draw to cards, okay, now we pray for Black Spear. We might, we might actually have wanted to keep Black Spear. Black Spear, Valfist. Actually, Valfist doesn't cut it. This is very annoying. This is very annoying. I blocked Just... the 5 5, right? Yeah, blocked the 5 5, blocked the 5 5. You got a Renation, though, which is neat. Block. So you may maybe have misplayed by removing the removing the the back spear. Uh, you play the Vanguard here, Redeemer. Wait, actually, don't. Uh, actually, do you? 
Where? No, don't, you don't play as Vanguard Dreamer. Don't play, don't play, don't play, don't play. Don't play. Just pass? Pass, just pass. I will tell you why. I will tell you why. You want this, right? You want to play this. You want to have, have the mana to play this. You need to pull the mana. So here, what you do is you attack. Oh, this is good. Some combat to deal with Teemo. Here, you attack with the Undying. And you will attack. And after that, you will hope for him to play stuff in the board on the board. And you will play single um, Ruination. <laughs> Look at him! He just killed your Undying! This is... Uh, just let, just click let, okay? Yeah, click okay. This is super good for you. <laughs> this is so funny. Never cause the Undying when you don't have to. This is perfect, Andrew. What do you do here? This. Renation, exactly. Now you need to win quickly before the mushroom gets you. Mushrooms get you. Click on your deck to see how much mushroom you have. You have 24 puff caps. This is not the end of the world. Basically, Andrew, this means that uh, puff caps get a uh, quote unquote attach to your cards. And uh, it means from the click on your deck again, from the uh, from the 25 cards that you have, uh, there are 23 proof caps. There can be like five on one card or zero on one card. And if you draw a card that has like three puff cap, you take three damage. If you draw a card that has ten puff cap, you take ten damage. Ah, That's how it works. Team was so toxic have... even in this game. Yes, but he's not very good. So here he doesn't, looks like he doesn't have Timo, and you have some on combat, so you can. You can safely commit. You want to, here you want to kill him as fast as possible. So the combo you want here is quick damage. How do you get quick damage? Uh... You have only you can only be able you will only be able to play one of the units. This. So. Chronicle of Runet. Uh, it's actually Ezreal. Ezreal Absolder. Remember? Because you will get another body. And you get me stronger. See what I mean? Oh wow. Create a six five. Yeah. See? This is not a rare pull. Like you will always get like very strong units like this with this remitter. <laughs> it's totally fine. There you go. Pass. Oh you no 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 pass, pass. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. I didn't saw you had the two mana um Two mana to the spirits, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, plays. You can either take it for kill him, get him for. Yeah, you have Tyana to attack again. Don't play it. Don't play it. You just no, no don't play. <laughs> you attack. Yep, attack. And then what do you do? Then I play Earth. Yeah, and you basically won, because. He has no yeah. board. I wanted to save the rally is why you wanted to save her. Come on. Yeah, Come on, exactly. You. If you if you have played her, you have wasted rally. This is because the rally doesn't stack. Yes. You only have one attack token. And you have one you pretty much one here, I think. <laughs> uh, it's, it's so funny to see people uh, vengeance. Okay. Alright, uh, you can do this, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, he's wasting so much fuel. Like, look at him. He has only two cards in hand, and he's being pressured. You have all these cards. Uh, you might want to keep. No, it's. Uh, you might. Well, it's fine. It's fine. What I meant is that you might want. You play your Brindle Android player. And then you go. Attack. You are insignificant. You are insignificant. So for your. Um, league info. Tyana Krongar is Lux Aunt. And Ron. Ah, no wonder he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need to kill him fast because he's going to Oh, he revived Timo. But you have the answers. I have the answers. What do I play? Yep, you... Uh, you literally. You can play whatever, uh, just not, not the Azure Emitter because you want to keep your 5-5 to kill Timo, 
with second combat. So four. And you don't want, uh, you don't want, basically, here is a situation where you don't want to kill the Undying right now, because you want to have a healthy target to fight Timo, so he doesn't just kills the target, kills the 5-5 five five that kills Timo. It's coming a little bit. Uh, anyway, ju just play, um, actually play not, uh, play, you can play the Undying, it's fine. So I'm rambling so much, but I just Thank want to get being educational. Yeah. yeah. Armed and ready. Armed and ready. Kill him. What do I block him with? Just you can't block the elusive. So, oh, oh kill him. So vile feast. No, it's only drain one, so it will do only one damage. Two two. How do you kill this? Single combat. All oh, right, duh. Yeah. On what? The 2-2 two -two or the 5-5? Five -five? So he, if you do it with a 2-2, two -two, it will kill your 2-2, two -two, so he will come back stronger. But, if he has a Mystic Shot, he just kills your 2-2, two -two, Timo gets through, and he kills you. So, seven, so you do it on the 5-5. Five -five. Oh, 5-5. Five -five. Or 7-7. 7-7 seven -seven. Seven -seven is actually better. 7-7 seven -seven is actually better. No, uh, you have to cancel that. Right click. Yeah. Right click. There you go. Yeah, it's actually better than 7-7. Seven -seven. Skip block. There you go. For four mana, is nothing he could do to remove seven seven tough. There you go, bang. And then you can play whatever. It's fine. Remitter is the best play in my opinion, but what do you want to kill? So two two or five five? Two two. Why? Good. Why? Uh, Good. It spaces out the. Exactly. There you go. Hey, this is not really good, but still good. There you go. But you can, uh, Ooh, missed call. Revive and the random ally died this round, so only Timo died, but it's fine. He already attacked, so he won't be able to attack you. So just pass? You, or they you can even him? butcher on the Undying to That's get another right. attacker. We have <laughs> he knew it was over. Good game, Andrew. Nice. There you go. Alright. Alright, thank you, Rillian Soul, for helping me out today. Yeah, you're welcome. And thank you everybody for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And there will maybe be soon a um, Legend of Runeterra guide for a complete beginner who didn't understand anything in card games in my channel.